What's going on everybody? Fearless Beats here and today we're going to take a look at every single thing that you need to know in order to start recording vocals right away. All right, if you need to do rap vocals, if you need to do reggae, if you need to do a little choir in the shower, doesn't matter. We're going to learn it all. So let's jump right into this quick tutorial. Hit me with that fearless shit. All right, guys, we're going to start off by making our preferences, getting sh making sure all the settings are correct. This is where a lot of the problems could be happening. OK, so if we go into our preferences here in Ableton Live, the first place we're going to start is audio. OK, so the first thing we want to look at here is the audio input device. OK, so if you're using a if you have your own audio interface, you can select that here. I have a Scarlett, so I'm going to be recording with my Scarlett mic. Otherwise, if you're recording with something else, maybe your laptop speakers, you can select it there. Let's see it. Mine right here. MacBook Pro microphone. All right. So that's where you're going to be able to select your input device. The second thing we're going to look at is the audio output device. OK, so if you're just if you're just listening to this through your speakers or whatever, you would obviously probably already have that set to your MacBook Pro speakers or whatever your speakers are called. But if you're using an audio interface and you have your mic going through that audio interface and you have a set of uh, speakers as well that are going through that, you might have to create a multiple aggregate output device like I've created here. Um, if you have a Mac, you can look that up really quick. Um, it's easy to do. If you have Windows, I'm sure there's a similar thing you can do as well. But you might need to create one of those aggregate devices so that everything can run properly together. Otherwise, you would just select the output right here if you're using some speakers or something. OK, the next thing, this is super important. We want to make sure our in and out sample right here is 44 100. OK, if it's set to 4800, you might be getting some clipping. It might not be sounding right. All right. So make sure that's that's very important. Next, we're going to talk about the latency right here. OK, now this doesn't need to be super low. The lower it is. OK, the lower this is, the more CPU it's going to use. So the more the harder your computer is going to have to work. But it's basically going to be the latency from when the rapper or the singer is singing their vocals to the time they hear it. OK, so I think if you're at 512, that should be fine. If you need to push it farther, go ahead and push it farther, whatever you need to do. So test it out with your PC to see what it can handle. All right, so the last thing that we're going to look at in the preferences is the recording here. So the record, warp, and launch. Let's click on that. Okay, so there's a little feature right here called count in right here. So if you want to be able to have a couple bars to count in before it starts recording, you can set that here. I would recommend just setting it to one bar. If you don't, set it to none. Now, if you know don't know what I mean, basically, before it actually starts recording, it's going to count down four bars for it. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, and it's going to give you that. So it gives you a little room to breathe before it records. I'll show you really quick before we jump in how to record. So and now it starts recording. OK, so it gives you that little counter. in. so if you want that, you would set it there. Otherwise, you can just leave it to none or turn it off. All right. That's the count in. And that's all you need to know for the preferences. All right. Let's get into the next part here. OK, so when you're actually ready to start recording your vocals, this is what we're going to do. OK, you're going to want to create an audio track, right? So you could say insert audio track. I have one here already. The second step is make sure your mic is on. Otherwise, you're not going to see this signal right here. You see how I talk? The signal's going up. You're not going to see that unless your mic is actually turned on. All right, it needs some power. The next step, you're going to want to make sure this record arm right here that's red. You're going to want to make sure that's checked so that it's ready to record. It's armed. It's ready to go. The next step is if you want to be able to hear your voice while you're singing, you need to have the monitor on auto. All right, so it's going to sound a little weird because I'm recording through OBS and Ableton, but check it out. All right, so now I'm able to hear my voice a little bit more. So I can hear my voice as I'm rapping and I know what I'm saying and I can make sure it sounds right. All right. And if you don't want it on, just turn it back off. All right. As a bonus little tip here on your audio track, go ahead and put a gate plug in. All right. You can find that in your audio effects in Ableton. There's going to be a gate. Boom. Assuming you have the version that I think the light version might have it. I'm not don't hold me to that, but get a gate and copy these settings. This is just going to make sure that any room noise doesn't get recorded. OK, so let me turn this on again. You can see, actually if, if you watch it down here. You're going to see like if I'm talking, 
if I'm talking really quietly, it's just going to pick up my voice. All right. So if there's a lot of room noise, you might need to raise that, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't raise it much. Okay. This is like the, the level you want to be at. Okay. All right. And after that, all that's left is recording your vocals. So I'll, I'll show you, I'll do a little demonstration of me recording my vocals. Okay. Yo. Uh, I'm about to hit him with the fearless The fear quick, get you here quick I'm about to get it right now Man, I'm rapping, having fun And I'm teaching vocal recording Man, that's how it's done What's good, man? It's super popping I'm dropping the heat Motherfucking flopping Oh, damn, damn <laughs> Alright Alright, so what you're gonna notice right here Is that these wavelengths are very loud Okay That's not good that's not what you want. What you want to do is you're going to want to turn down the volume on your recording device. Okay, so you have, if you have the audio interface, you're going to want to turn down the volume on it. You're going to want it all to be about this level max. Okay, so the smallest part is the max you're going to want it to be. Now, the reason I have it going like that is because I'm also recording through OBS and um, the vocals have to be louder in there so you can hear me properly. But anyways, let's uh, listen back to what I got, and that'll wrap up this tutorial. Yo. Yeah, hit me with that fearless shit. Uh. I'm about to hit him with the fearless, the fear quick, get you here quick. I'm about to get it right now, man. I'm rapping, having fun, and I'm teaching vocal recording, man. That's how it's done. What's good, man? It's super popping. I'm dropping the heat, motherfucking flopping. Oh, damn, damn. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, that wraps up this tutorial. Now, this should be everything you need to do to start getting going right away, and you can start making mad moves, recording vocals. You could even make some money off this if you get good at it, all right? Let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed or if there's anything you want me to cover. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. I'm trying to get this ball moving, and let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Like this if you liked it. If you hated it, give it a dislike. I don't care. Let me know. I'll, I'll be able to improve from that, and I'll take that as some feedback, all right? But anyways, guys, hope you have an amazing day, and you're staying healthy out there in this quarantine. But anyways, peace out, and I'll be talking to you guys again soon. Hit me with that fear.